Replacing a payroll check in Sage 50 or Petrie is a pretty simple process. You just need to void the original check and then print a new one. But there are a couple issues you want to be aware of, so I'm going to take you through that process right now. Um, to void the check, you can go to the task menu and then choose void checks from down at the bottom. That will bring up the void existing checks window. Or if you already have the transaction open in payroll entry, then you can click the delete button and then choose void. If you're on an older version of Peach, you'll see a void button directly on the toolbar. So I'm going to click void. And you can see when you do it this way, it automatically selects the right transaction for us so we don't have to hunt through the list. Then the void date is the big thing you need to be aware of right here. It will default to today's date. That may or may not be the, the right choice. Um, typically the void date should be the same date as the check that you will be issuing for the replacement. So we're going to date it on April 9th in this example. Our original check date was March 28th. In most cases you would not want to set the void date to be the same as the check date because then you'd be going back and changing a prior period. When you void a date in Sage 50 it actually creates a negative transaction and posts it on the void date. So if you've already gone into the next month, the next next quarter, you could be changing financial statements or at the very least you'd be changing the payroll totals for that period. So I'm going to click void and we'll say yes we're sure we want to void this transaction and then we'll just close the void window. Now back in payroll entry, we're going to put in the employee ID, we'll change the date to the date that we're printing the replacement check. Everything else on here aside from the check number should be exactly like it was on the original check because we just want it to be a, a, an exact replacement. So make sure that all your numbers match and then you can print the check or in this case I'm just going to save it. So now you've got your replacement check. I'd recommend that you run the same reports that you would for a regular payroll. So we're going to look at the payroll register. We'll set that to just the check date of the new check. And since there's nothing else on that date, we see the void here, 1295V, and the new check, 1296. Since this totals to zero, there's actually no total displayed on the payroll register. Some of your other reports will show the zero totals, some will hide them when they're zero. Um, I recommend doing the void and the reissue on a date where there's no other payroll activity because that makes it really easy to make sure that your that your totals are right because everything should come out to zero. The one other thing that you'll need to be aware of is that there are some issues with the payroll tax reporting. We'll go in here to Tax Forms, Preview and Print. In past years, there were some problems with the W-2s where a negative check, which would be a void check, gets add, got added to the W-2 totals. They seem to have that fixed now. But there is still an issue with the, um, the 941B. Here I'm going to set this to second quarter because that's the date where we issued the new check and we'll click OK and I'll show you what happens on here and Sage 50 actually uses a program called Atrix that handles all of the um, signature ready forms and hopefully Atrix will get this problem fixed soon So you'll see here that we're showing $90 of tax liability in the second quarter. Well, the only thing in the second quarter in our sample company here is the void and the replacement check, with, which net out to zero. So we're going to go on to the second page and tell it that we're a semi-weekly depositor. That will bring us to the 941B, and you can see that here on our payroll date are the taxes from the replacement check. Of course, those shouldn't be there. So we're just going to zero those out. We can go back to the first page here 
and clear that out too. Normally you would be adjusting this number, not zeroing it out, um, since you would have some taxes due. But that's another reason why I like to do the void and the replacement check on a date where there's no other payroll tax activity because it makes it stand out on the 941B, whereas if that was combined with another uh, payroll's totals, it, it wouldn't really be very obvious to you that there's a problem. But again, you know, that's an issue right now at the time of this recording. Hopefully they'll be fixing that problem soon so we won't have to continue to deal with it. But that's it for how to replace a payroll check in Sage 50.